next guest is a country music singer and songwriter with five Grammys, seven ACMs, and ten CMA awards. This is his new album. It's called Starting Over. It just came out about ten minutes ago from Nashville. Please welcome Chris Stapleton. Hello, Chris. I'm doing well. How are you doing? You know what? Uh, I'm sorry. I just, yeah, no. Go ahead. Tell me how you're doing. I assume you're doing okay. Man, I'm good. My wife told me not to, because it's hard with this kind of remote thing to not interrupt. Because yeah. the, there's latency or something. So I did, I did the very thing my wife told me not to do just now. Well, it was my fault, I assure you. And I also want to say that your hair is so lustrous. It's, um, you know, a lot of us in quarantine have uh, really become a mess. But you started out kind of a mess. And now <laughs> you... No, you look good. You do. I, I, what, are you, what kind of conditioner are I you using? I look the same. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for doing the show tonight. And I want to tell you a little backstory. I, t I, I love Chris Stapleton. I love his music. And I saw that his album was coming out on November 13th, which happens to be my birthday. And so I texted him saying... Uh, thank you for this beautiful gift. And then Chris was nice enough to offer to play on the show tonight. So when it's technically November 13th, we're after midnight. And I appreciate that. Thanks very much. This would have been the worst birthday ever without that. <laughs> <laughs> well. Chris, you, uh, you were on the award show last night with your wife, Morgan. And... Uh, yes. What a great song. What a fantastic song and great performance that was. I know a lot of people were sick. A lot of the performers were unable to attend. How did that come together last night? Well, I mean, uh, we, we actually pre-taped our uh, part of it. And we were, we were even, because some people got sick, we were kind of a fill-in for, for one of the acts that couldn't make it. So, uh, you know, they had all kinds of, you know, protocols in place and, and as safe as we can do things, you know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was really uh, uh, that's the first thing that we've tried to kind of go out in the world and do five years ago this week. It was a very different story. Five years ago, you performed at the CMAs with Justin Timberlake and um, and that really put Justin on the map. Uh, it, no, it really <laughs> well, I was trying to help him out. <laughs> he did help him in a big way. Did your life change uh, enormously after that performance? I think that would be probably the understatement of, of the millennium. Uh, it was drastic. Yeah, it was sold out shows and, you know, people, dudes driving from North Carolina into my driveway to say hi to me. You know, just weird, uh, odd things I've never had to deal with, you know. Like, it changed for the better and the worse. And that was Morgan, your wife's idea, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, I'm kind of a, uh, you know, I never want to bother anybody, and I know, you know, folks sometimes, but my wife is very good at pushing me to go, well, you should, you know, you should do this, or you should call such and such and, and, and ask him for a favor. <laughs> and so I, I called Justin and asked him for a favor. I said, hey, man, would you have any? We've been kind of looking for something to do, uh, you know, together anyway. And I said, hey, man, would you have any interest in, in doing this thing with me? And he was gracious enough to come and do that. And uh, the rest is uh, history, I guess. It was one of those award show performances that you kind of always remember. I mean, I remember watching it, and I really wasn't familiar with your work. I was like, who is this guy? He's fantastic. And I bought your album immediately after that, and now you've become Chris, the Chris Stapleton we all know and love. And, and, and not just in the world of music, but I didn't know this. And I, another show that I'm, I'm very, very fond of is Game of Thrones. You were on, was it the second or third to last episode of Game of Thrones? Uh, you know, I'm not sure what episode. It was whatever the episode was with the big battle they, that they had 70 nights and night shoots and the really expensive battle that they had in the last season. I was, I was in that. You were in that. And explain what in that means. Well, it's a very short definition of in that. I was an extra sort of laying in the dirt. Uh huh. And where did you shoot this? Uh, in uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland. So you went to Northern Ireland? Correct. Did they call you and ask you to do this? Uh, no. You asked them if you could do it. Yeah, I, I tasked, uh, you know, 
uh, one of my managers, uh, Clay Hunt, would kind of uh, I often give him things that I think are impossible tasks. And so as a joke, almost, <laughs> honest joke, I said, hey, I said, hey, man, I'd like to be on Game of Thrones because I knew it was the last season. And there had been a few people who were much, much more uh, famous than I am to get in on the show and have bit parts. You know, I was like, I want to do that. If I, even if I'm going over there, you know, I'm just laying in the dirt. And so they, they agreed to let me come do that. Let's take a look at uh, this, this classic scene from Game of Thrones. Okay, I didn't see you at all. Uh, but let's see, do it again, and we've, we've enhanced it so that we can see Chris Stapleton. Go ahead. There you are. There you are. <laughs> How long was that flight for, to Northern Ireland? I have no idea. <laughs> Did you, it was a long time. Did you even see yourself when you watched the episode? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. It was completely deflating uh, <laughs> in some ways because I was watching it and I was excited and we watched the whole episode. <laughs> we watched the part that we thought that I was going to be in and we even went back and watched it several times and my wife finally caught what... The glimpse of what would <laughs> She's got a very good eye. Did you meet any yeah. of the stars while you were there? Any of the big actors on the show? Yeah, uh, the guy that was the Night King uh, is really weird. He was, we got to be back in the green room, you know, while we were waiting to do our, our big part. And uh, <laughs> the Night King was, the guy, uh, Vlad was his name. He was laying, he was kind of lay, laying sprawled out on the couch and they had all this like dessert trays with all these really dainty looking Kind of, and he's in full costume. He has the whole bit on, and he's kind of on eBay buying something on his phone, and he's, <laughs> he's just serves. It's a very kind of strange, uh, you know, thing to have the curtain pulled back on because he's this terrifying character on the show. <laughs> Chris, um, I want to ask you about the album. I, I got it yesterday, and I've been listening to it, and it's so great. And uh, there's a song called Watch You Burn on the album. Tell us what that, that song is about. Well, that song was, uh, you know, it was a reactionary song to, uh, there was a mass shooting at a country festival in Las Vegas. And you're from, you're from Vegas, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a very kind of angry moment for me. You know, I, I hate to see all that kind of stuff uh, going around the world. And, and I carried that around in my pocket uh, lyrically for a while. And I got together with Mike Campbell to do some songwriting and I kind of, brought that out and he and I kind of hashed it out and, and got to what we thought was uh, uh, an appropriate way to talk about that. There's some anger on the album. You, uh, you, you write and sing about um, uh, dulling the pain with, uh, with alcohol, with smoke. Um, and then we have the song Starting Over and the title of the album. Why is it called Starting Over? Uh, well, you know, we named the record kind of after we had finished the record and sequenced it and all those things. And, and then it was kind of, uh, you know, shows canceled pandemic, all that kind of stuff. And so it, it, it happened to be sequenced as the first song on the record is the song called starting over. But, um, we named the record, I think in the hopes that we actually get to start over in a, yeah. in a hopeful kind of way, I think. And also did they cancel the photo shoot for the album cover? <laughs> We did. <laughs> we did. We were trying to come up with a, with uh, what was going to be done, and we were like, "What is the most rudimentary kind of like? Just listen to the music thing we knew." We like, well, nothing. And my wife had a typewriter sitting there, and she typed out these lines, and I wrote the title and, and my name on it, and that that became the artwork. All right. Well, the album's great. The song is great. You're great. Thank you for being with us tonight. When we come back, music from Chris Stapleton. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.